Austria's chancellor is the first European leader to meet Russia's Vladimir Putin in person on the war in Ukraine. He came away rather pessimistic on hopes for peace. I have no optimistic impression that I can bring you from this conversation with President Putin. The offensive is obviously being massively prepared, but therefore also the clear commitment that a stable access of the International Red Cross is needed. For more, let's bring in our political news director, Jody Schneider. Jody, how are President Biden and other leaders responding to the latest developments in Ukraine? Yeah, as we heard from um, the Austrian chancellor there, there, there is not a lot of optimism um, that things will get better anytime soon. We heard from the uh, mayor of Maripol that he thinks as many as 10,000 civilians may have been killed there uh, since the start of that invasion about two months ago. So on the world stage, we have EU leaders uh, urgently pleading for more weapons to be sent to Ukraine, uh, saying they, if that's going to, they're going to be able to uh, overtake take um, the advances of these Russian troops. They need those weapons as soon as possible. Uh, we also heard uh, from uh, the leader of Poland saying that they could have the biggest tank battle since World War II. So not a lot of uh, optimism there, but a lot of pleas for more help for the Ukrainians. And meanwhile, uh, President Biden had that phone conversation, that phone uh, virtual meeting today with uh, the prime minister of India, trying to mend some fences uh, since that relationship has really gotten much more complicated because India has been reluctant to criticize uh, that invasion uh, of Ukraine, basically because they are so energy dependent on Russia. President Biden uh, was said to have told uh, Nehendra Modi that they would, the U.S. would be willing to help them uh, in terms of energy to really diversify their energy resources so they were not as dependent on Russia. They said the, uh, that talk went well, but it is a complicated relationship right now.